In a groundbreaking development, the Interparliamentary Union IPU has delivered a resounding verdict against the controversial recalls orchestrated by the Zimbabwean Parliament, signaling a potential reversal of the fate of over 20 MPs aligned with the charismatic opposition politician Nelson Chamisa. The IPU's exhaustive investigation unearthed glaring discrepancies in the actions of Zimbabwe's parliamentary authorities, particularly in their handling of the recall procedures. Criticizing these procedures as infringing upon the fundamental principles of democratic representation and freedom of expression. The IPU underscored the urgency for reform. Central to the IPU's findings was the questionable legitimacy of Senjizo Chibangu's purported authority as the interim secretary general of the Chamisa led Citizens Coalition for Change CCC. His unilateral directives, which led to the dismissal of Chamisa affiliated MPs, were deemed dubious and lacking proper verification by the IPU Committee on Human Rights. Moreover, the IPU rebuked the Zimbabwean Parliament's Speaker, Jacob Mudenda, for disregarding Chamisa's rightful presidency of the CCC. Mudenda's hasty acceptance of Chibangu's contested communication. Without due diligence or acknowledgement of Chamisa's official correspondence, drew strong condemnation from the committee. This oversight, the IPU emphasized, resulted in the unjust ousting of CCC members, a stark departure from democratic norms. The IPU's ruling serves as a beacon of hope for the sidelined MPs, who were unjustly barred from participating in by-elections following their dismissals. The committee's call for parliamentary and constitutional reforms in Zimbabwe underscores the imperative to prevent such injustices from recurring in the future. Looking ahead, the IPU announced plans to dispatch a mission to Zimbabwe, underscoring its commitment to rectifying the ongoing issues and ensuring the integrity of parliamentary processes. With the weight of international scrutiny behind them, advocates for reinstating Chamisa's MPs now stand emboldened, poised to push for corrective action and uphold democratic principles in Zimbabwean politics.